on the 17th of June 2024, Kanchanjanga was hit from the rear by a goods train and nine people died and more than 50 were injured. As per the official statement released by the chairman of the railway board and the CEO, Ms. Jaya Varma Sena, the mistake was of the goods train driver who jumped a red signal. But then, on this stretch, the Kavach or the automated train signal was not implemented and the manual signaling was also malfunctioning. So they were working on paper signals. And the driver who was to be blamed is no more. So, though the frequency of train accidents have decreased, but it is still there and they are in a massive scale. Like last year, we had one at Balasore and so on. But then, the automated train protection system, which has been developed, and named the Kavach is being implemented pan India on various routes and is presently not fully implemented. So what is this Kavach? It is an automated train protected system which is indigenously developed by the Indian Railways through their Research Design and Standard Organization, the RDSO. The initial development of Kavach started in 2012 under the name Train Collision Avoidance System, the TCAS, and it was completely developed in 2022. The coverage has been certified for compliance with Safety Integrity Level 4, that is the SIL4 operations. And it has been promoted as being the cheapest ATV which is available in the world and it is only about 50 lakh kilometers per kilometer compared to the 2 crore per kilometer which is being marketed by other countries like the European Train Collision Aversion System, the ITACS. But then this kind of a system which is available in the other European or American countries cannot be implemented on our tracks because the requirements are different. In the financial year 22-23, funds were released for implementation of coverage on 2,000 kilometers of track as well as about 34,000 kilometers of track on the Golden Quadrangle Rail Route which is to be implemented and finished by 2027-28. So during the early 21st century, Indian railways became increasingly interested in deploying an automated train protection system, looking upon the existing mixed rail routes, that is the passenger, the super fast trains, and the freight trains, which were there, and a requirement was felt so that collisions which were on the increase could be decreased and rail travel could be safer. So these requirements included the prevention of instances of signal passed at danger, collision prevention, in-cab signaling, automatic whistling at level crossings, intelligent real-time health monitoring and to facilitate substantial speed and capacity increases for both freight and passenger operations. So instead of procuring an off-the-shelf collision aversion system, which were available, like I said, was not fitting our requirement. So the research organization of the railways started developing the aversion system. And between 2015 and 27, field trials of the system were carried out and the data was created and formalized in March 2017. And then 
it was demonstrated by an onboard equipment component in which the failures of 40,000 hours was less than 99 point percentage and it was a very low percentage of accident happening and it is compliant with the SIL-4 operations which is accepted worldwide. So on 4th of March 2022, a high profile live demonstration of the Kambach was conducted between Gulagudda and Chittagada railway stations in Secunderabad division and it was passed and felt appropriate to be implemented in our country and on 16th of February 2024 another trial of the system was carried out in the Agra division and it was fully found acceptable and it was also tried for the Vande Bharat trains and it was found that trains travelling at 160 kilometers per hour could be stopped and in case of accident could be averted. This system consists of three core elements, these being the track side, that is the RFID tags between the running rails, onboard locomotives, which have the RFID readers, computer, brake interface units, the UHF and the GSM radio links, and the radio infrastructure, the towers and the modems. So this multiple forms of data input are used to determine the criteria such as the location and direction and there is an odometer on board each train which measures these data points being periodically reset when passing over an RFID tag while the time data is verified via GPS satellite link the drivers are presented with information primarily via screen interface and event recorder is present to retain the record of all these interactions. It is like the black box of an aircraft. Specific data exchanged includes speed, direction, location and identifiers which are akin to an individual train and to the track. Some of the tracks are fitted with RFID tags which are used for additional purposes such as to communicate an upcoming signal, a level crossing or a train leaving a station which is covered by Kavach. All this messaging between the train and the track side infrastructure, the stations is done by radio communications which are handled by the drivers installed in the track or at the stations or are automated. The interlocking is done by automatic systems seeing the speed and keeping the movement authorities and the restrictions what are put in place due to the conditions of the train movements. The coverage incorporates lot of the issues and the features of the European train aversion system and is much better placed and can handle the things according to our requirements in our country because the rail services in our country and the European countries are at different levels. So presently Kavach is to be implemented on 65 locomotives, 1445 kilometer routes and 134 stations in South Central Railway while implementation on 1200 kilometers is underway as of April 2022. This is also being implemented across 3,000 kilometers of track including majority of the New Delhi Mumbai mainline and the Howrah Delhi mainline as part of Mission Raftar project which is being taken up by the Indian Railways. Funds have been allocated for this and the newly built WAG9HH locomotives will be equipped with coverage apparatus and we hope that the whole project will be completed by 2027 20, or 28 and hopefully train travel will be accident free. 
So if you have liked this little piece of information which I have shared with you, please like, share, subscribe my channel and call me for any life skill oriented issues. Jai Hind!